My name is Keith Jeffrey. I'm from Smithfield, Rhode Island. Uh, fighting out of Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Triforce MMA, we've been at it for about five years now. Um, the school's growing immensely. The talent is just getting better and better. Um, we have a lot of influx of guys from different schools coming around all the time. So it's always going to push the envelope and make everyone better. I originally started ice hockey and when I, you know, four years old playing hockey, you know, and I loved it and I was, you know, a big proponent of the sport and, and, uh, once I got to check and it was, you know, check hockey and taking people out and, you know, then it was drop the gloves and it was, you know, a rough sport and I really loved that aspect of the game, you know. I was in a tournament and I laid out the biggest guy on the ice and, you know, they're taking me to the penalty box because they called it roughing. They're taking me to the box and one of the ladies, the, the mother of the kid that I just laid out, was screaming at me, number 12, you belong in a cage, you belong in a cage. And I remember looking at her and I smiled and I was like, I like this, I like this. And you know, looking back on it, it's like, I do belong in a cage, you know, and now I actually fight in a cage. So it's pretty funny, yeah, it's kind of where I got my start. How you train is how you fight. So if you're training real easy, or you're just grappling, or you're just doing stand-up, I mean, that's how you're gonna fight. So you gotta be ready for everything. You gotta be ready for a war. With the, you know, the Gracie explosion, and jujitsu jitsu and, and grappling, I just, you know, I had a guy in my hometown who was a Gracie blue belt, and he was, uh, you know, giving privates out of his garage. This is before there were any schools around. And um, started taking, you know, some privates with him, and just fell in love with the grappling. I took it, you know, and had a knack for it right away and I've trained extensively on you know keeping the fight standing and also my Moy Lao with my striking coach William Sokutat and he's about 50 years old he's been doing it for about 40 years and he's you know he's unbelievable his technique is so refined and you know his game plans for fights are so on point um, and also Diamond Dave Keefe he's my boxing coach he's trained two Olympians um, so I think that the two styles of the boxing and the Moy Lao come together, you know. And like I said, I'm not worried about throwing a kick, the guy catching it and putting me down. I'm confident on the ground against anyone. Because until you're in the gym and you're facing guys that challenge you, um, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to adjust when you're in the ring. The thrill of the fight and the thrill of the crowd and the energy that you feel in the arena, it's just, you know, it's so exciting. And when you win, it's the greatest feeling in the world. It's just so surreal. And um, that's what drives me, the fans, the putting on the show, and, and just day in and day out, getting a little bit better. Not perfect, so if you can get a little bit better each day, just like anything else, that's what's gonna make you a star. That's what's gonna make you a champion. That's what it's all about. Oh, over there. I think